What's up and welcome to K Plus Gaming Corner and in this Remnant 2 video we're looking at another build that's great to run on Apocalypse, an explosive setup that's guaranteed to lay waste to all who are dumb enough to step in your path. If you like seeing enemies go boom and setting everything on fire then this is the build for you so without wasting any more time let's get right into it. Starting with the archetype classes we're using the engineer as our primary and the secondary is flexible so feel free to go with one you like best. I'm using the gunslinger since it's one of the better ones to use as a secondary since most don't really care for its prime perk but it does have plenty going for it otherwise when it comes to buffing reload speed and fire rate while also giving some extra range damage. The main reason we're going with the engineer is so we get access to the impact cannon. This one counts as explosive damage and we want to be able to overclock it which is the engineer prime perk granting your turret unlimited ammo increased fire rate and 25% increased damage for a certain amount of time depending on how much you're spec'd into skill duration. Keep in mind we have the surplus relic perk that allows your relic use to refill some of your turret ammo as well as the sleight of hand gunslinger perk where using a relic reloads your firearm and increases range damage by another 15% for 10 seconds. For the gunslinger skill we're using bullet storm which will turn both of our weapons fully automatic while increasing fire rate and reload speed and we'll get to this a little bit more when we get to the weapons. For the amulet I'm using the detonation trigger which you can get on Nauru at either the timeless horizon or eon vault this increases explosion damage by 25% as well as applying the burn status onto enemies and for the rings I'm using the blasting cap ring for another 10% increase to explosive damage stone of continuance since we want both of our skills to last as long as possible and then I have Xania's malice for some extra weak spot damage and probability cord for some extra crit damage if you wanted to take more advantage of the fire we're spreading around you could always go with the firestone to increase fire damage singed ring to increase damage dealt to burning enemies or the alumni ring which increases all elemental damage dealt by 10%. The weapons for this build are where things get interesting since there's a number of ways we can take advantage of the extra explosive damage we're dealing and for me the star of the show is actually the star shot handgun. This gun fires projectiles that explode on contact so it's perfect for this build since now all of your shots are dealing extra explosive damage plus this gun will now be naturally applying the burn status to whoever you're shooting at. Then when you trigger the gunslinger bullet storm skill and make this gun fully automatic it turns the star shot into an absolute killing machine. The big bang mod that it comes with also fits in well since it's an even bigger explosion doing more explosive and burn damage you can pretty much erase most elites off the map with just one shot of this mod at maximum stats. I threw on the bottom heavy mutator to further help out with the fire rate and reload speed but the mutator you use here is up to you. Another strong option for the handgun is the meridian if you can get your hands on it. It fires a grenade that explodes on contact and the mod is basically a rocket launcher. This weapon can take some getting used to though since it doesn't shoot like a normal weapon would but it more lobs those grenades in an arc towards the enemies. The long gun you use is also up to you as there's a few different options you can consider here. If you go with the Twisted Arbalest, the Guardian's Call mod becomes much more powerful and now applies burn in this setup. The Alpha Omega's Beta Ray mod also gets a boost and the Sagittarius Starfall mod becomes much more effective and devastating. I decided to go with the Pulse Rifle so I could choose which mod to go with and I went with the Song of Ephir mod which also counts towards explosive damage and can now apply burning plus you're slowing down enemies with this one which is a very underrated status effect in this game. I have on the kill switch mutator here to fit in more explosions whenever I switch to this weapon. It's on a 10 second cooldown so you can't really spam it but it's almost mandatory in a build like this since activating this mutator will one shot most enemies and it's a great way to finish off elites that are a bit too aggressive and won't back up off you. Some other mods to consider here would be the prismatic driver, witch fire, helix, tremor or maybe the rotted arrow all would benefit from the extra explosive damage and can now apply burning definitely let me know in the comments section which weapons and mod combinations you'd go with i'm curious what choices you guys would make and i always love sharing ideas for the relic i'm using the salvaged heart with some ranged crit damage weak spot damage and then some more skill duration so our overclocked turret and bullet storm skill lasts that much longer most of you might consider this an ideal opportunity to get to use the tormented heart since this one on use will trigger an explosion and becomes a nice weapon once the detonation trigger amulet is on and while it was a lot of fun to play with the fact that it doesn't heal in the normal sense but instead grants lifesteal this can lead to an extremely risky 
playstyle on the higher difficulties and especially on apocalypse mode. There were a number of times when I was in a jam and needed at least some normal healing in a pinch, and the blood roots and health regen won't be enough and this heart won't be there to save you. If you can manage it though, as I said, it is a lot of fun to use, especially when you can kill most enemies simply by healing next to them. But for me, I'll take the salvaged heart and the peace of mind knowing I don't have to risk it all just to get some health back. This is how I have my trait points set up, pretty standard for the most part, but keep in mind you'll need to spec into the kinship trait, which reduces friendly fire by quite a bit, and with all these extra explosions going off, you can easily delete yourself and others, so we want to minimize that as much as we can, and then amplitude is going to increase the AoE size of your explosions so we can get the most out of them. The rest is up to you to mix and match as you see fit. So there you have it, that's the build, high tech barrel smith going out with a bang and stunting on all your enemies like it's 4th of July. Let me know down below if you're running a similar build and how you have your setup, and also let me know if you have any questions on where to find some of the rings, weapons, or mods that I mentioned. Thanks so much for watching if you made it this far, and do give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. It's all good, I forget to hit that like button too sometimes, but it does help out our growing channel quite a bit and would be greatly appreciated by yours truly. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please consider subscribing and ringing that notification bell to make sure you're getting all the updates on when I'm going live or dropping new videos. I love you guys, and thanks again for all your support. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Until then, Peace.